Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this microframe from Atmospheric Adventures. This is the Ares Mini, and this is uh, meant for 2 inch propellers. You can see here. And it's got this nice TPU pod. Pretty, pretty simple design, and uh, obviously it's meant for 20 by 20 flight stacks. And you got a little camera hole there, and you got little holes here for your uh, VTX antenna and also a receiver antenna. Uh, obviously the canopy screws on at the bottom here and you get a uh, battery strap and some nylon screws and nuts here for mounting your flight controller and also for the pod. Um, what I thought would be a good project for this frame would be a rebuild of something that I reviewed a while back. This is the Lanchi Monster 76 and this frame is designed for 1.5 inch props and I just felt like it was a little bit under propped because it's got an 11 to 4, 8,000 kV motor and it just felt like it just didn't have enough prop for the weight of all this including the frame but this would be perfect to transplant into this frame here. I can, go, I can then prop it up to a 2 inch prop 1104-8000 uh, kV on a 2 inch prop would be just fine. Uh, maybe even on, probably not a 3S, uh, 2S should be okay. And then uh, it's got good components in here. It's got a Tanam 41AC, uh, F4 flight controller, and got an all-win uh, camera here as well, along with a receiver. So I'm going to transplant uh, all of these components into this frame. Um, should, shouldn't be that hard to do. Hopefully these motor wires are going to be long enough to reach. It should be because they're kind of bent over. If not, I have to do a little work around, but uh, since I don't really fly this much anymore because it is under propped and kind of lacking power, I thought converting it to a two inch micro would be better. And I think this frame is going to be lighter than this frame. So I'm going to actually uh, weigh this and then transfer all the parts over here and then weigh this new one. And I have a feeling that's going to be either the same, maybe this might be a little bit more because this pod is a little bit on the heavier side, but then you have less carbon as well. So go ahead, I'll just transplant the parts over and we'll take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so here it is with all of the parts transferred over. Uh, the motor wire has barely made it, so I uh, got kind of lucky there. Uh, fortunately, this is not going to work with two inch props. I did try to put these Gemfan 4 bladed 2035s on here and I would either hit one side or the other. I would, so like one side would strike the prop and that would try and push the pod over, then the other side would strike the pod. It was pretty close. So I gave up on using these and I'm just going to use these uh, King Kong uh, 1.9 inch props. And I should have better performance than the 1.5 inch props from before. And the weight was, uh, if I remember right, 49 grams before. And now uh, with uh, this configuration it's about 53 grams, so a little bit heavier but I got uh, more uh, bigger props now, so thrust should be better. And I'm just gonna stick with the JST connector and I'm gonna stick with a 2S, uh, like a light 2S battery, like a 350. And uh, that should uh, still have pretty good performance. Um, I did end up soft mounting the motors just in case uh, the F4 flight control went crazy, but uh, in, the, in the bench testing it seemed to be fine. I just transferred the stack over as is and I had to change the uh, antenna on the video transmitter so that it would, uh, would it would basically it was too short and it would get stuck here, and then the uh, canopy wouldn't close down. So it's a pretty tight fit getting this stack in here. And if you can uh, maybe use some soft mounts instead of these uh, nylon standoffs, you might be able to get that stack a little bit lower. I didn't want to waste any time doing that. I just figured I'd just stick it in here and fly it as it is. But if you want to be a little more careful, you could use some uh, TPU soft mounts and get that stack a little bit shorter, give yourself a little more space. It's a pretty tight fit all around. Um, use a nylon screw here and a nut. There goes there, that holds it on the front and the back. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. And yeah, it's pretty nice looking overall. Um, let me give you a couple measurements before I show you the flight demo. So I forgot to give you the thickness of the main plates, two millimeters, that's what I was thinking it was. The motor to motor distance is about 93-94 millimeters. Side to side is about 76 millimeters. And front to back is about 53 millimeters. 
So it's an H style frame, not a stretched X or, or an X frame. So uh, it's going to have, it's going to be, it's shorter in the front to back pitch axis and longer in the roll axis. Anyway, in terms of the uh, software setup, I went ahead and updated the flight controller to uh, Betaflight 321, the latest version. Also updated the ESCs. I put uh, two cards in the corner here for those videos. If you guys want to know how to set up uh, flashing and also the configuration of the flight controller, it's pretty easy to do. Just follow those two videos and you can get this set up right away. So unfortunately, it's going to be a very short flight demo. I ended up crashing in a bush and apparently didn't disarm quick enough. Ended up uh, burning out an ESC, so this one isn't going to be flying again.